Well, there she is. I'm having it clean, inside and out. I've done the outside already. It's lovely, isn't it? Look. Come around here and have a look. I do love it when it's uh, freshly clean. It looks absolutely spiffing. So they're going to do the inside now. It's really dirty at the moment. I'll show you the inside. Hold on. So you look really mucky in there. Don't forget I've had the mouse in there and there's been no signs of it again now since we come back off holiday. I'll just move over here folks, it's a little bit noisy there actually. But uh, yeah, I always come to these chaps here. They do a fantastic job there. This is going to cost me £30, that's outside and in. And uh, they're definitely worth coming. It's in the Horncastle, heading towards Crowders, the old garden centre. Just before you come into Horncastle with the main village from Woodall Spa. So yeah, it's a lovely little place. I think the car is eight pounds. I normally give them a tenner anyway because they do a great job outside as well. And they're always busy. Say so they do their old match there. Look, they've got the drill there on the match there, look. And he rubs it down with a, a drill. So they're gonna do my match even though I've got new match to go in there. Yeah, look at that little baby. Just come around the front. Looking very good. There she is. I'm going to hopefully get some new um, speakers to go in. I've got that Atoto headset on there, and uh, I'm trying to get a preamp and a, a sub to go in as well as some new speakers. That might be coming up shortly, hopefully. But uh, we see how that goes. Right, I'll show you the inside when it's all done, people. I'll just show you what I'm having anyway. So there you go. There's the choice of valets there you can have here. Look, starting from there. So I'm having a, um, I think it's a medium one now. Yeah. Windows, dashboard clean, express polish, tyres dressed, air freshener. That's what I'm going for there, I think, 30 quid. Just had all the mats out, doing the mats now, and also the inside vacuuming. Doing a grand job, lads. They go around the hatchback and also around all the door insides as well very thorough there you're probably here for about 40 minutes in total peeps well there she is folks look at what they've done to them mats how clean are they look look at that looks lovely and it smells absolutely superb in here look they've done a lovely job there right I'm getting back in they've done all the dashboard all the seats are lovely oh. shut the door oh they've lowered my blinking seat moved my seat about and all let me just bring myself back where I need to be Right. Right, I'm going to get myself home, folks, and we'll have a good look around it. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are back home. Just been to the petrol station to fill it up. And uh, an old boy come over to me, had a look around it, and said, well done, he said, well done. What a lovely car. He said, I had one of these a good few years ago, he said. And he shook me hand. And it's nice when people appreciate them. Yeah, I think this is one of the last appreciating classics, the um, ST220, one of the last fast forwards. And I think they probably go up in value, that's why I'm keeping hold of it. Anyway, yeah, I like it in the performance blue. So, uh, let's have a look in the back. There we go. How about that? Cleaned all the mats. They actually took the mats out, done them with the jet wash, and then took it over with a vacuum, cleaned them all off with a vacuum cleaner as well. There we go. All in the lovely condition. They put some spray on the seats. I don't know what it is, leather spray or something. But, uh, oh, I've been looking for that. Oh, well, there we go, take that inside. So coming around here, I've got a little issue which I've got to sort out. And that's half of the reason why I wanted it cleaned. This um, glove box, for some reason, something wrong with a handle on it. I don't know if it's broken or what, look. I don't know whether it's come off or, but I can't actually get into here. I'm not sure what the issue is or can I do that manually I'm not sure look the I don't know if you can see up there I don't know exactly what the problem is but I need to get in here because I've got a feeling the last time we had mice in here that's where they lived in there and they'd taken root in there with all the you know the McDonald's sauces and stuff like the um the little pots of sauce and all that they nibbled through all of them so they made loads of uh, mess in there with paper so 
So let's see if that can get this out of here. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be something attached to that or, or what. I haven't got a clue. Bear with me. I'll try and get this open, people, and I'll uh, come back to you. See if we can see if the mice have been living in there. Right, so I've managed to get this out. This went in that way. There's a little hole in there where that obviously slides into. But if you look at this end, it looks like there's a couple of bits broken off there, look. So if that goes in like that, and I pull that down, it must pull some sort of mechanism here downwards by the looks of it. And I don't know what this is. I've just, uh, that's come out of this side in, in there. So I can't sort of get my hand there and feel anywhere where it's broken off or, or what have you. I'm not sure. I don't want to force it, I don't want to break it if I can. There's no sort of lever there that I can feel what pulls down. I might have to get a screwdriver in here and sort of try and lever something down. I can feel a hole there, but I can't get my finger in there. So I'm going to go and get a screwdriver and see what I can do with that. Right, I've got a screwdriver now. I'm hoping maybe to stick in the, here somewhere. There was a hole I can feel somewhere here. Oh, there we go. I don't know whether it's anything I need to be concerned about. I'm in there. Nope, that's no good, maybe the other way. I've gone through the hole. Maybe pull back or push forward. Nope. <laughs> this is gonna be the thing, you see, I can't actually see what I'm what I'm doing in there. And I can't quite see what that mechanism looks like. Something's obviously broken off there, which looks like it would have gone through a hole and maybe another bit of mechanism there i can't i can't actually work out what it is and then nothing feels like it's broken in there i can get that screwdriver in that hole but then as i say i'm gonna pull down on it nope that's no good is it i'll push up on it nope push inwards or pull outwards nothing i don't want to force anything if i can help it because i don't know how good the mechanism is you know that's just a location uh, lug for that one, look, that side. This is the one where the action happened, there. Maybe down the back of it where it went, I don't know. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes. There's a little lever down the back there, so I might be able to... Let's drop that down. Right, I'm going to get you nearer now. Now, I don't know whether the mice have been in here at the back underneath there, so... We're going to have to be careful, because this is where they lived last time, in here, they'd set up home in here, it doesn't look like it so far, although I don't know, there's no signs of it, let's get all this out, nope, there's me wheel, locking kit that can go back in there umbrella no i don't think they've been in here they've definitely not been in here oh hello some butler senpai stickers there and some retro restore stickers no they've not been in here oh that's handy harry right okay so looking here it looks like i can undo this I'm going to need to get my Allen keys out, or me stuck my Torx bits. These are Torx bits, there's two there. Uh, one. There's only three. Yeah, I'm going to get my Torx bits out. But yeah, I don't want to damage them fridge. Right, so there's one, two, three. That removes this off, and maybe I can buy a new one of these complete. Right, I'm going to do that. Right, I've got a set of uh, Torx bits. And uh, I don't know what size it is, mind you. I would say probably something like a T25, maybe. Oh, look at that, I've gone straight to the right one. What one's that? T20. Okay, so it's a T20. And let's undo these three bolts here. Torx T20s. If I loosen them off first, I can uh, undo them by hand without the ratchet. And as I say, hopefully I'll have a look on um, eBay. See if we can get a second hand mechanism without having to buy the whole drawer so let's undo these three and see if that gives us exactly what we want one two 
two. And hopefully that's the last one. Three. Now, will that now push out? Oh, there we go, look. And I was hoping it would show me where it's broken off. Ah, there we go. So removing that, that's the, in that little slot there was where I stuck the screwdriver in there and pulled it down. But if you look in the door there, broken off is a little spring there. And also, look, that's the bit. That's the bit that's broke off. Is there any more in there? I can't see anything else in there. So yeah, that looks like it, people. So coming off of here, that looks like that bit, look. Yes, definitely. So I don't know where this bit is. It might have dropped inside the door. So uh, that's what I need, this whole thing in one. So that went in that way. So coming in from this way, that went in there, but the locator, this bit held it in place in there. And then there's a little lever that goes down the back there, which obviously levers that uh, mechanism back down there where I stuck that screwdriver. It was down there somewhere, wasn't it? Yeah, look down there, see that? That's where I stuck the screwdriver. And that released the lock. Pulled that lock down, look, push that down. And that pushes that down there. So the bit inside there is gone missing. And that's it. That's the uh, lever assembly, which you can just put in in one go. Just automatically goes all the way through there and fits in there. No problem. There you go, problem solved. So hopefully I can get that part ordered now and uh, everything will be all right in there. I'm still trying to sort these lights out. I did buy a load of them bulbs, as you well know, but um, I'm not really happy with them. I've got some other lights in mind, which I've got in my bathroom, which is a round, flat sort of LED light. Um, someone said, why don't you get the the uh, conversion kits for these? I don't really want to mess about with these old fittings anymore. I just want to take them down, get rid of them, and get them replaced. And I've got these, I say, these nice lights in mind, which I've got in my bathroom. So um, I'll probably end up getting them. I'll probably do four of them in here and four of them next door as well. And uh, yeah, so that's that. I want to get on the trotter engine now. I want to get this stripped down. I've got the cylinder head off here. This is the 600cc one. I've got to take all the valves out of there. Then that's ready to go to the machine shop to be skimmed. I've got the 600cc engine here, which I think the bores are going to need. I don't think they're going to need a rebore. I think they just need a hone and obviously new piston rings. So I'm struggling to find piston rings for the standard engine or the standard pistons at the moment. If any of you out there have any ideas, I've been looking on eBay, but um, I can't seem to find them at all. So um, I've got to keep my eyes open for that one. Failing that, I might go on to uh, Facebook on the Reliant Regal um, group. I know uh, one of the chaps on there bought up a hell of a lot of spares once, and I think I remember him saying that he had piston rings as well. So I might have a look and see if he's got any there. Neil Huckle, I think his name was. So I'll be giving Neil a call. And then it's a matter of just stripping the base of the engine down, getting all these studs out. I think I've got to take all them out, to be honest with you. Um, and then get the engineering shop to give that a good hone, maybe, and then, um, say, get some new rings in that. So that's all got to come up very, very shortly. The chassis now is sitting outside the workshop. I'm going to give that a good going over again. So um, I may or may not film all that because I've actually done a refurbishment on that probably about seven eight years ago and trouble is it's all got to be done again so i don't want to have to film that twice so that will probably be done off camera but um i want to get everything ready to put back on the chassis i've got the wiring loom to sort out plus there's loads of ancillary parts to to sort out i know i've bought a load i've got them over in in the corner here somewhere over in there i've got a fuel tank now unfortunately this is a brand new fuel tank i bought for it so the one that was on the car i actually sold and i'm Silly me, I left the fuel sender in it, so I haven't got a fuel sender. So I've got to sort out a way of getting a fuel sender in there, maybe adapting one, possibly from a mini or something. So uh, that's something I've got to look into. I'll probably go and go on the Facebook uh, group, Neil Huckle's um, Reliant Regal group, and see if there's a, a modification you can do. 
So that's something else I've got to look into. And as I say, I think I bought a new alternator to go on that as well. I'm not sure, I can't remember. Starter motor maybe, I don't know. I, I, I literally can't remember what I've bought for this car. So it means me digging all this stuff out, going through it. The seats have got to be refurbished. I've got some seats for it, obviously, that was uh, some black seats. I did have the old original red ones in there, which I swapped with another chap who does, uh, who's restoring the early one, the early Regal, and he gave me a set of black seats, but they need totally refurbished refurbishing so uh, that's another thing coming up all this gear i'm going to hope to be getting on soon oh yes i did have a starter motor for it look that was the old starter motor there and i did actually buy this brand new starter motor there i know it don't look new at the moment but um that is actually a brand new starter motor i have got a new distributor on there i've got a carb sorted out a new coil a new ignition pack and all that to convert it to electronic ignition so all that's coming up. So yeah, just a little video here just to show you what I'm up to at the moment. There's a couple of little jobs I need to do on the um, the Mondeo with regards to little bits of trim that have come off and have come adrift and stuff like that. But um, now I've had it cleaned, now I just want to get that glove box working properly and I'm convinced now that the mouse is now gone because when we had it parked in the car park at the airport, it was there for 10 days or nearly 10 days. And obviously animals need water. So they, it would have got out of the car had a scout around, probably found a car with some food in it or something, and um, left my car alone. So there's no signs of it now. I've been looking out for the, the like the mouse droppings which was in it, and I can't see them anywhere. Good to know that it's not been living in the glove box. I'm happy with that now. So now I've had it cleaned, I can now get that repaired and um, get that back, back to normal as it should be. Anyway, just a quick update here, folks. Thanks very much. Don't forget, have a little look at my uh, previous videos I've done. There's hundreds of them, I think, to be honest with you. All on car repairs, lawnmower repairs, some restoration stuff and all that. Painting, spraying, sandblast, all that sort of stuff. Powder coating. If you're interested in that, do have a look at my playlist on my channel. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And uh, thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.